The purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Ewing. This is the habit-based lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health Mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this is the habit-based lifestyle. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Jesse, habit-based lifestyle. Welcome to episode number four of the Coach's Corner. And today, uh, we are going to be talking specifically about uh, pain. And this is one of the things that that I've kind of walked through this week. And um, how I always want to do is I always want to be super relevant in what uh, we are talking about on a week to week basis, but I also want to be super relevant with things that I'm going through and really learning just about myself and about business. So, uh, before we get started on that, um, I want to give some shout outs, uh, to, uh, people inside the habit based lifestyle accelerator. So number one, Andy and Michelle Cassidy, uh, this is a shout out for November. These guys did 27, thousand over twenty seven thousand dollars in sales inside of their uh martial arts studio uh eric mortimer uh this guy's just launching his coaching business uh he did over seven thousand in sales um thomas Smith said uh he's coaching he's he coaches uh contractors uh he did over twenty five thousand dollars in sales uh solomon parsley uh, he is a nine round owner. Uh, he did 29,000 in sales. Uh, Sabrina Sahar, she's a, uh, online trainer, also a running coach and, and also, uh, does running events. Uh, she did 50, almost $59,000 in the month of, uh, November. Um, Joey Kramer, uh, chiropractor out of Texas did over $24,000 in sales. Uh, Matt Blanton, um, $15,500 in sales. Uh, Matt Clark um, absolutely crushed his uh, personal best. Last month, he did like $92,000 in sales. This November, uh, he did $148,000. So uh, amazing, uh, amazing uh, numbers. And then uh, Derek Snow from Canada, dog trainer, did over $25,000, set a personal record and continues uh, to do that. So I wanted to make sure I recognize, um, those guys inside the habit based lifestyle accelerator, um, for just continuing on to, uh, to crush it in the coming months. So, um, as we get into today, uh, I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that I've went through this week, uh, about eight, nine days ago. Um, I was sitting kind of at a desk like this. Uh, I went to get up and all of a sudden my back, uh, was killing me. And immediately what I noticed was pain. Um, but as I felt this pain, what I recognized was, um, it was kind of like this, this dull pain that where it gradually got worse over Thanksgiving a few days. And all of a sudden, you know, three, four days later, like I can barely move. I can't really sit down. Um, and so as I've went through this transition, I went to, you know, the chiropractor, I went to get a massage. Um, nothing was really making it better. I tried to ice it. Um, and then eventually I got on a call with um, a guy that I do some manual work with, or I used to, uh, where he kind of walked me through some stuff. And he's like, hey, you may want to try uh, to go to the acupuncture. I asked him about it. And he's like, yeah, try it. So I went uh, a couple of days ago, and then I went again yesterday. And my back's feeling you know, 100% better. But um, it really made me think about this idea of pain and, and where I really want to talk about this today is, you know, 
Um, you can relate this to your business and you can relate this to really any part of your life is oftentimes um, we have a pain happening in our life. And what happens a lot of times is we immediately want to address the pain as the actual problem. And so I kind of want to draw this out because I think this will really help uh, some of you who are dealing with pains in your life, um, you know, whether it be a pain in your body or just a pain in general. So I want you to think about pain inside of a frame. And pain typically means uh, there is a problem, right? Um, and so for me, the you know, I first identified, hey, uh, like 10 days ago, I get up, you know, there's this indicator that something is wrong. Uh, something's going on with my back. Now, most people are looking for like the immediate fix. Okay. Uh, what do I mean by that? They're looking for the immediate solution. How do I get rid of the pain? Um, which is fine. And I think that's always step one is we have to get into what is the immediate fix of my pain? So whether it be a pain in your back, a pain in your marketing, a pain in your business, a pain in your relationship, we always, and even a pain in your body. So think about like, maybe I'm overweight, whatever that is, but we are always looking for the immediate fix. Um, the immediate fix is just, how do I eliminate pain in my back? Um, but like, we always look at the result. So like this immediate fix is to change the current result that I have. My current result is, man, I'm in pain. Um, but it is an indicator of a deeper underlying problem. And, and so what do I mean by that? That means that my back pain was not caused by my back. My back pain was caused by something else. And so what I really have to do is begin to search the facts. How did I hurt my back? Okay. Um, so this would be a question I would ask myself, hey, how did I hurt my back? Um, and, and what I really look at it is like, okay, well, you know, chances are if you're overweight, your bank account not, isn't where it's want to, you want it to be. It's like, how did my bank account get here? How did my weight get here? And so you begin to research the evidence behind that. And so as I looked at the evidence, I'm like, okay, how did I do this? And if you guys are watching this, you know, maybe you want to type in the comments, hey, right now I got a pain in my back also. I got a pain in my bank account. I got a pain inside of my relationship. I got a pain inside of my body that I'm 20, 30 pounds overweight, but how did I end up here? How did this happen? What is the evidence? So if I look at the evidence was I was sitting and it caused me pain. I went to stand up. The immediate thing is, is I noticed some pain. So there's some evidence that by me sitting, it's really hurt my back. Okay. But what led up to that sitting that really made that happen? And so as I begin to research the evidence, I may ask another question. What have I been doing to cause this pain? And so I'm going to say, okay, cause, because we always want to research the cause underneath the problem. What have I been doing um, to cause this? And so I could say, well, I've been sitting longer hours. Maybe uh, the chair I'm sitting in or the style of chair isn't uh, the best for this. Okay. These are, these are all possibilities. And then I might say, okay, um, uh, I've been working out sometimes two times a day. Um, you know, sometimes once a day. Um, uh, but these are all things that, that I've been doing that could have caused it. Now, the other thing is, is what have I been neglecting? So if you're looking at this, you may say, well, listen, how how I hurt my back, what's the cause of it, and what have I been neglecting? So most people stop at the immediate fix. They're like, man, I got out of back pain, or you know, 
Uh, I'm overweight because I'm overweight. Maybe I just need the immediate fix or my bank account's low. So maybe I need to get a loan or something like that to fix it. But they never actually fix the problem because they just try to get rid of the immediate pain. And so then the pain continues to come back two to three months down the road. You go through the whole cycle again. So today I want to tell you about how we eliminate pain and the problem once and for good. And so we have to go through this model of cause, effect, and then neglect. And so as I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, what have I really been neglecting for the last six to eight months? What have I just been neglecting on a day-to-day basis? And I would say mobility work, stretching have probably been the two biggest indicators. Um, Some of the things I've gotten in a bad habit of, which uh, even though I'm habit-based lifestyle, I can get into a bad habit just as easy as I can get into a good one. And so as I've noticed, I've watched myself walk into the gym for probably the last six, eight months inside my office and just kind of start working out and not really put a lot of effort into the mobility and stretching that I used to. And so this has caused an issue. And so if I look at the pain I'd say, yeah, my back hurts, you know, but my back didn't cause my back pain. What caused my back pain is my inability to uh, do mobility work, my inability to stretch and warm up properly and do these things so that I can continue to work out the way that I want to. Um, There's also, you know, probably a few other things, but those would probably be the biggest things that have caused my pain and have been symptoms of the problem. And so as I look at this, sure, the immediate fix is, yeah, I go to the acupuncturist, do some other things. I'm out of pain. I feel way better than I did a week ago. I feel way better than I did even three days ago. But that still doesn't fix the deep-rooted problem. The only way that we're going to fix the deep-rooted problem is to begin to identify the cause. Like, what, what what is... the issue that I've been neglecting for six to eight months, no different than if somebody was overweight, they didn't just get overweight overnight. They got overweight by six, eight months, a year, two years of not paying attention to what they ate. No different than someone who's looking at their bank account and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't have any money. What happened? Well, what they fail to look at is the last six, eight months in a year of what they've been neglecting, possibly inside of their marketing, not paying attention to their numbers, and just not driving in new revenue. And so the pain that we get inside of our body really starts to show up in other areas of our life. Maybe, you know, it's even inside of your marriage, you're having marital issues, they didn't just happen overnight. There's been a neglect over a period of time that has ended up being a result of where you're at today. And so that's really what, you know, I learned through this whole thing was like, man, I've been neglecting my mobility. I've been neglecting my stretching, which ultimately has been reflected through the results that I have of being in back pain. And so as I trace back the results, If I just look at the results, my results right now are back pain. If I reverse engineer that pain, that begins to identify the real problem and the cause and the neglect that I've had so that I can begin to actually solve the real problem. So my pain doesn't come back every one or two months or every two to three months in a cycle. And so I want to end the cycle. I got to dig up the root of the problem. And that's really where we have to identify. This is one of the biggest things that I see uh, business owners. This is one of the biggest things that I see uh, that neglects people's results is they continue to deal with pain, the immediate pain, but they never actually fix the real deep rooted problem, whether it's their relationship, whether it's their you know, their health, whether it's even inside of their business and their bank account. And so um, my pain in my back is a representation of 
the problem that I've had inside of my mobility and stretching for a period of six to eight months. Now, think about this is I can begin to get rid of that problem in a matter of a couple days or a couple or even a week if I just learn, hey, you know, if you want to work out and do these things, you're going to have to do mobility work. You're going to have to do stretching. No different than saying like, listen, I need to fix the problems in my business. Um, and I need to solve that initial problem, which primarily on the front end is getting new leads. Um, if I can fix that immediate problem, that begins to fix a lot of the other issues. And it's not going to take me six to eight months. It may only take me, you know, a couple of weeks to begin to fix that. And so this is something that's happening in your life is you're looking at the pain and not looking at the problem. The pain is the surface. The problem is underneath that. And we have to find that to get the cause and the neglect so that we can begin to solve that problem inside of our business. So um, what I want you guys to type in right now is like, what are you taking away from this? What might be a pain in your life that you're ignoring or maybe hoping it goes away, which we all do. We all hope you know, this back pain goes away. We all hope that, you know, at some point, you know, our, our bank account problems are going to go away, but they're just not magically going to happen. And so we have to strategically figure out what the deep rooted problem is. So uh, go ahead, type in like what you're learning from this. Um, if you have any questions or, or any of that, sometimes I go to sleep, become numb to the deep rooted problem. Sure. We all do. That's a, uh, that's what, you know, that's what this is, man. It's like, I was numb for a couple of days being like, okay, well, maybe this will just go away magically on its own. The problem is, is that, you know, that won't do that. Hey, there's uh, there's my man, Isaac, who, uh, who actually helped me um, kind of start working through this. So like, uh, he's on here. He's talking about, hey, I got left infection after surgery, got antibiotics for it. And then ended up getting a bacterial infection. Yeah, it's been a pain, but like, what's the the health or maybe the things that we've been neglecting underneath that for you know a, a longer period? Um, those are the things that that we really want to look at. You know, even like physical pain in the arm. It's like, man, how, what have I been ignoring in that? Trying to just work through it, hoping that this goes away. Ed, I struggle with my weight. I lose weight quickly when I'm motivated, then gain it back. So the deeper rooted problem isn't the weight. It's the way that we think is when we have success, we believe that we can reward ourselves and kind of go back the other way. It's almost like, it's almost like this yin and yang. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm up here in weight, up in weight. I'm down in weight. And so I need to create some balance. And so then I go back. Um, and so a lot of what that is, is this is the identity you've created for yourself uh, for a long time. Uh, there's an identity that you're going to have to work through uh, because the identity that you're going into this with isn't working anymore. And, and just the fact that your story is, hey, I struggle with my weight. Therefore, that is the identity that I live life with is you're always going to be struggling with your weight. The thing that we uh, struggle with the most is going to be something that's always going to be at the forefront of our mind. Um, so I think the bigger thing is, is, you know, what are, what are ways that we can begin to think differently about our struggles? What are ways, what am I really struggling with underneath the weight? Uh, most likely, it's probably dealing with a bigger problem in our life that we're not putting out on the surface. And so we just continue to be like, oh, well, I'll lose weight because that'll solve my pain. Um, and it does temporarily until I gain it back. So we really have to look at the deep, deep rooted problems. I'm going to look through. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is, is we try to ignore things when we feel pain and hope they go away. Or maybe we take Advil or we take food or we take some other method that hoping that that's going to really get, get rid of our pain. So I appreciate all you guys uh, responding on that. Um, but I, I wanted to share that with you because like, hey, here I am, habit-based lifestyle and obviously not doing my habits uh, with mobility and stretching 
um, and keeping, you know, yeah, I'm working out, but like, okay, work out. Cool. Well, if you're getting hurt sitting in a chair, how, how effective is your workouts? Um, and, and so I wanted to share that with you guys. Cause as much as I say, have a base lifestyle, I think the bigger thing is, is you have to realize that, Hey, just because I'm living a how to base lifestyle doesn't mean I don't have problems. Doesn't mean that, you know, I don't neglect things at certain times in my life. In fact, I would say the whole reason I created habit based lifestyle was because I was neglecting things in my life and it was easier for me to break them down into simple habits um, and more effective for me that I could understand them so that I could start reverse engineering what I really wanted in my life. So a lot of this was created out of my own frustration for things that I struggled with so that I could help other people with similar things and I could break them down into simple, simple changes that we make. So, um, as you guys are like watching this, just realize that, Hey, although I have a brand called habit based lifestyle, there's things that I will struggle with. There's things that I neglect. Um, you know, my habits are not perfect. Um, you know, and so every once in a while I need to change my habits and say, okay, listen, maybe instead of an extra workout a day, maybe I need to spend some extra time on a second workout or doing something else like mobility work and stretching and really investing in that so that I can continue to have a mobile and strong body because there's no point in me, you know, benching 300 pounds if I can't sit on a chair and not get up with back pain. And so, and, and plus that's not what I want for my life anyways, because I see the effect of that, you know, three, five, 10 years down the road, um, you know, then I'm, then I'm talking about quality of life. So, um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing you guys could think about today is, you know, make sure you're looking at the pain, but you're also looking at the problem underneath that you're not neglecting that. And you're really starting to identify the cause of it because ultimately that may be the biggest contributor to holding you back, um, in you wanting to move forward in your business, in your life, in your relationships. And by you solving that, you get to learn about you. The cool thing is, is this is something that's a pretty simple fix. Probably only takes about 15 to 20 minutes a day max and uh, makes my life better, makes my mood better, makes my energy better. And, um, you know, I tend to not be, I tend to be injury free once I do those things because I've done them before. Um, and I've done a ton of physical challenges, but, um, for whatever reason, you know, mobility work and stretching is kind of my new challenge. So and that's, that's where I'm focused on. So what is your focus, you know, over the next 30 days to help you get out of that pain or problem that you're currently facing? So it's one thing, you know, to say, Hey, I have this pain here. It's another thing to begin to identify on a deeper level. What is the actual problem and how do I begin to eliminate the root? so that I could begin to move forward and whatever that is. So uh, guys, I appreciate you being on here today. I wanted to share that with you because I think this is a super powerful thing that you can apply to any area of your life. And I also believe that this is going to really help you move forward. So um, thanks for being a part of the Coach's Corner. We'll be back next Friday. Um, invite your friends, invite your uh, family, uh, whoever. So talk to you guys soon. The purpose, of this show the purpose of this show is to guide you to realign, you to realign. with habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.